Now in Night Beat, the state's top prosecutor is putting PG&E on notice, saying the utility company could face manslaughter or murder charges in the wake of the deadly campfire. And good evening, I'm Juliette Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. Night Beat's Dahlian is live outside PG&E headquarters in San Francisco tonight. And uh, some people think that uh, criminal charges don't go far enough. Yeah, that's right, because even if PG e is found liable and convicted, you can't jail a corporation, you can't lock up this company here. That's why some people are asking prosecutors to go after corporate leaders. If we want to get at the heart of, of justice over these fires that we've seen, we need to have some action taken. Cal Fire is still investigating what caused the campfire, which killed 86 people. But if PG e is liable, the state attorney general says prosecutors could file criminal charges against the company. And the severity of those charges, all the way up to murder, depends on the degree of malice or negligence. Even if it's a murder conviction against the corporation, the corporation is not going to prison. Nobody's going to prison. Retired judge Ladores Cordell says you can't jail a corporation. PGE already has six felony convictions from the San Bruno gas pipeline explosion. As a result, the company paid fines, performed community service, and is currently on probation. A new criminal conviction could mean a longer probation period. Customers want to see actual people held accountable. Mendy's bat is with the Utility Reform Network, which advocates for rate payers. pg and &E certainly doesn't seem to have gotten the message last time, and their board of directors did very little to clean the company up. Until someone goes to prison for these actions, we're not going to see the change in culture. We're not going to see a change in behavior unless someone actually spends some time behind bars. Legal experts say even if the company is liable, it's unlikely prosecutors would go after PG&E executives. Nonetheless, a criminal case against a big utility could lead to a state takeover or even a breakup of the company. If it's determined that PG&E, this defendant, did not behave according to the terms of probation, yes, PG&E is in big, big trouble. The state attorney general released that information because a federal judge had asked about it. That judge is currently overseeing PG&E's felony probation. By the way, Brian, PG&E so far has not directly responded to that latest piece of information released by the AG's office. I'll send it back to you. All righty, in San Francisco, Don Lynn. Thank you, Don.